Hello. Let's start with the wonderful story title, A Lifetime of Choices. In the quiet town of Willowbrook, nestled among rolling hills and meandering streams, lived a man named Samuel Reynolds. Samuel was an ordinary man, content with a simple life. He had grown up in Willowbrook, married his high school sweetheart Sarah, and worked as a carpenter in his father's workshop. The town itself was unremarkable, but its charm lay in the close-knit community of friendly neighbors who all knew each other. One warm summer day, while Samuel was repairing a picket fence, he overheard a conversation between a group of travelers who had stopped by the town's general store. They spoke of a grand adventure that awaited them, a journey to explore distant lands and experience the world's wonders. Their words stirred something within Samuel. He had always dreamed of traveling and seeing the world, but his sense of duty to his family and the workshop had held him back. That evening, Samuel shared his newfound desire with Sarah. They talked late into the night, weighing the pros and cons of embarking on such a journey. In the end, they decided to seize the opportunity. They sold their house, said heartfelt goodbyes to their friends, and packed their belongings into a modest wagon. For years, Samuel and Sarah roamed the world together. They marveled at the Eiffel Tower's grandeur, explored the bustling markets of Marrakesh, and hiked the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu. They raised their children on the road, teaching them history, languages, and the value of exploration. Their journey was long and filled with stories, some of which they recorded in a journal that became famous for its vivid accounts of their adventures. Eventually the family returned to Willowbrook, forever changed by their travels. Samuel's carpentry skills had expanded, influenced by the various cultures he had encountered. His pieces were unique, blending styles from around the world, and they became highly sought after. Sarah, too, had developed her talents as a writer, publishing a book about their journey that became a bestseller. As the years passed, Willowbrook transformed from an unremarkable town into a destination for travelers seeking the wisdom and experiences of the Reynolds family. The once humble town was now celebrated for the extraordinary lives of its residents. In their old age, Samuel and Sarah sat on their porch, gazing at the same picket fence Samuel had repaired decades ago. They reflected on their long, eventful journey and the choices they had made. Samuel said to Sarah, We could have lived a quiet, ordinary life, but we chose the world instead. Our story is a testament to the power of choices. Their story, A Lifetime of Choices, was celebrated for its realism and inspiration. It became a famous tale, reminding people that it's never too late to pursue one's dreams and that the most remarkable adventures can start with a single choice. It was a testament to the beauty of life's unpredictable journey. Chapter 2 The homecoming time had passed, and Samuel and Sarah Reynolds had grown older, their children now living their own lives in various corners of the world. The memories of their travels were etched into the walls of their hearts, but the call of home grew stronger with each passing year. Willowbrook had not remained stagnant during their absence. The town had prospered, drawing people from afar who wanted to experience the quaint charm it had to offer. The once sleepy village now had bustling shops, a vibrant cultural scene and a lively community. There was an air of nostalgia about the place that resonated with the townsfolk, and the name Reynolds held a special place in their hearts. As Samuel and Sarah approached Willowbrook in their old wagon, they marveled at the sight of the town that had once been the backdrop to their ordinary life. Yet, the town they returned to was far from ordinary, transformed by the passage of time and their own experiences. The townsfolk came out to greet them, waving and cheering, as the Reynolds family made their triumphant return. Samuel and Sarah had seen the world's wonders, but it was the familiar faces of their neighbors and friends that filled them with warmth and nostalgia. Their old house, which they had sold years ago, was now a historical landmark, a place for tourists to visit and learn about the couple's remarkable journey. A small museum had been established in the town center, filled with artifacts and mementos from their travels. Samuel, ever the craftsman, was welcomed back into the town's carpentry community with open arms. His unique designs, influenced by his worldwide experiences, were in high demand, and he set up a workshop once more. 
He crafted a beautiful new picket fence for their home, replacing the one he had repaired all those years ago. Sarah, on the other hand, found herself in high demand as a speaker, sharing the stories and wisdom she had gained during their travels. Her book remained a bestseller, and she continued to inspire people with tales of adventure, growth, and the enduring power of love. The couple had learned that, despite the allure of the world's farthest corners, there was something deeply comforting about the place they had always called home. Willowbrook was their anchor, the place that gave their adventures meaning. It was a reminder that even in a vast world, the smallest of towns could hold the most significant of treasures. As they settled back into their home, Samuel and Sarah realized that their journey had not just been about exploring foreign lands, it had been about discovering themselves and the bonds of family and community. The Reynolds family, who had embarked on a worldwide adventure, had found the most remarkable treasure in the world, home.